Yes, you know there are rumors that uh, yes, students have been. But which of the papers right carried it this morning? Vanguard. Sir. If you read today's Vanguard, it is not true. The rector himself have come out to say that, that it is, the university was not closed or the institution was not closed because of security challenges. Look at today's Vanguard, and you can see that it is not true. Yes, there were rumors of, but what have we done? We have reinforced, we have re-strategized, and as I speak with you, is under our constant surveillance. This morning, 15, 20, I'm not so sure, we are picked up overnight this, till early in the end of this morning in the same area. A number of Kekena Pebs, you are aware that there is this ban on movement of Kekena Peb at certain hours. And this ban came on because they are the ones that are used either to take or to bring out. So we are keeping our eyes on the Washington to ensure that things do not happen. There are insinuations, but if you look at it, it is not what it is said. And like I said, the institution, the rector himself have come up to say, no, that is not what has happened. We are reinforcing, we are strategizing to deal with that. Now, if you come to the so-called planned strike, the federal government have stated, and governors have already started rolling out their palliatives. Yes, Delta is known for what it is. Delta, uh, Ugeli area will tell you, yes, we instigated or we started this. Now, this morning, you talked about Ozoro. The issue in Ozoro is that the people are protesting the relocation of a certain department from to another from one point to another point. As I speak with you, if you ask any of your colleagues in that environment, the situation is being properly policed, our men are on ground, the matter is being turned there too. Now on the so-called strike protest for this, we have been talking. Before I came down now, I was talking to the some members of the civil society group who call themselves and Brad, what do they call themselves? Human rights organizations. So many of them I started as early as 5.36 this morning, telling them that the situation is precarious and then we need to be careful so that we don't trigger something that is bigger than us. We are still talking, we are still dialoguing, we are still finding out a modality for which citizens can carry out that fundamental right but also operate within the ambit of the law and ensure that Udlons or those who do not mean well do not hijack this peaceful fortress. To this end, intelligence has been deployed. Men have been placed on standby so that we can we are ready, we will be watch, we will be on the watch out, we will ensure that we, if the civil society group and human rights group in Delta State decides to carry out this that it is properly policed and it does not get out of and that I can assure you.